Hi everyone, my name is Joe and welcome back to Forex Boat YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to talk about the top Forex chart patterns. We will give you which ones are our favorite and help you to draw them and use them in your future trades. This is our agenda. We will start with what is a Forex chart pattern. We will move to introduce you to the types of Forex chart patterns and then explain you our favorite ones and at the end we will leave you with real live examples so what is a forex chart pattern a forex chart pattern is a result of price fluctuation forex traders and technical analysts discover that there are certain patterns that repeat themselves in the market so each pattern has its own meaning some indicates continuation, some reversal, and other neutral. So how you will benefit from these chart patterns? You will benefit by, they will help you to expect how the price will move in the future. Now we will talk <clears throat> about the types of forex chart patterns. We will start with continuation. This type of patterns will indicate a continuation of the current trend. So, a fresh move will be seen after this pattern in the same direction of the main one. Example, flags, pennants, and wedges. Reversal chart patterns indicate, for sure and obvious, a reversal. And you will see a fresh move in the opposite direction of the main trend. Examples are double tops, head and shoulders, and wedges. Moving on with neutral chart patterns, this type, they don't indicate any uh, direction. All they do is, you should, all you should do is to wait for a confirmation to expect the next move. Examples of neutral chart patterns, ascending, descending, and symmetrical triangles. Now we will give you one example for each uh, chart pattern. We picked the, our favorite ones and we will talk in details one by one. We will start with bullish flag. A bullish flag, as you can see on your right, uh, the price was in an upward movement, then it entered a consolidation and what we expect after this is another impulse in the same direction of the main trend. Your stop loss will be in the lowest part of the uh, flag. Your target is the size of the pole. A double top it indicates a reversal. So, the price, if you look at your right again, the price was in an upward movement. Then, it enters a consolidation with a form of letter M. Then, a downward movement is expected after the breakout of the neckline. Your stop loss is <coughs> in the middle of the pattern. Your target profit is the size of the pattern. Now we will move to symmetrical triangle. As we said before, we cannot expect in which direction, which direction the price will move. All we can do is wait for a breakout from one of the side of the triangle. So if the price break out from the upside, then an upward movement is seen and the opposite is true. In case the price break out from the downside, a downward movement should be seen. So. Our target here is the widest part of the triangle. Your stop loss is in the lowest point of the triangle. Now, after we talked about each type of patterns, we will go to show you a real example using the MetaTrader 4. If we open here our um, MetaTrader 4, we have the Euro New Zealand. We are searching for a bullish 
flag. As we said, a bullish flag indicates a continuation of the trend. Here, the price was in an upward movement. Then, a consolidation in a form of a flag is seen. And then, the price continue upward as the main direction. So, how do you draw this flag? All you need is two trend lines that are parallel to each other by linking the tops and the peaks using the wicks of the candles. So this is a, this is the flag, something like this. Your entry point is where the price is broken here. So the price broke from the upside of the flag. So the entry point is here. Your stop loss is somewhere here. We'll put this is our stop loss somewhere here. It is. Your target profit, we said, is the size of the pole. This is the side of the pole. What you do is you project the size of the pole from the entry point. So, this is our target. And a small retracement is noticed after reaching the target. This is bullish flag. It's so easy to use and plot and keep it simple if you want to be a little bit aggressive you can enter right under the entry point you can put your stop loss right under the entry point but as a beginner we advise to put your stop loss somewhere here under the lowest part of the flag moving on to another example we should show you how a double top appears in a market if we look on the New Zealand GPY, we can see that the price was in an upward movement, like this. And then it made a consolidation. The consolidation is seen with letter M. And then a downward movement, something like this. So the main trend was upward, consolidation. Another, the trend is changed by a downward movement. So here, the double top uh, did a job of a reversal. We put the neckline is here. This is the neckline. The neckline help us know where to enter this <coughs> trade. Here is our entry point under the neckline. Your stop loss will be the middle of the pattern here. Target profit is the size of the double of the pattern, something like this. If we use the Fibonacci retracement, this is the, the target profit should be here and a retracement is seen after the target is profit so it's respected if we want to be a little bit aggressive we can move our stop loss right above the neckline but we repeat as a beginner is better to leave it in the middle of the pattern moving on with our last example we are looking for a symmetrical triangle. The symmetrical triangle, we said, it indicates a neutral chart pattern. So, using the trend line again, we link the tops and the bottoms, something like this. The price enters in a 
form of a triangle, our stop loss here is under the lowest part of the triangle, like this here. The stop, the stop loss is here. Our target is the widest part of the triangle. This is, we projected here is the entry point since the breakout was from the upside. So we should expect the price to move upward. So we project from the entry point and this is our target and the price reached the target and made a retracement. So our target is re uh, respected. This is it guys for this video. Thank you for your attention. If you like our video, please press like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And good luck with your trade and see you in the next video.